In my last video I compared the iPhone as a scanner versus a regular scanner and found the iPhone was probably good enough for a regular scan. Today I'm going to look at a couple of apps instead, first being notes. And let's count the taps to get a scan. That's one force touch. That's two to tap on new note. Annoyingly you can't go straight to a scan. That's three on the plus button in the toolbar to start doing a scan and then four to click on scan documents so we're already adding up before we even get to the camera scanning on a tricky surface but the app has no problem there that's five to click on save down the bottom right and then six to jump into the scan and then seven to bring up the share sheet and that's where I'm going to stop counting um, but I'll just go a little bit longer uh, you can see it's the native share sheet, which is what I always look for in an app. And then if I want to save it to iCloud Drive, I've got save to files, but annoyingly, it's always called scannedocuments.pdf. So you might have the problem where, oops, I've already got something called scannedocuments.pdf. Next, let's look at Dropbox and one touch to 3D touch and a helpful scan document. Uh, quick shortcut, whatever you call it, number two. Still haven't touched anything else. Looking good. Third touch on next. Fourth touch on save. Annoyingly, you have to wait for it then to upload because if you try and do anything now, the only option is to cancel the upload. Waiting, waiting. There we go. Five to click on a little arrow. Six to click on share. Seven to click on create link. Eight to click on open in, otherwise it's just sharing a link, not the actual PDF. Has to export it for some unknown reason. And finally, you've got the normal share sheet, and it gives it today's date as the file name, which isn't too bad. Uh, lastly, let's have a look at probably the most popular third-party app after Dropbox, Scanner Pro. One to force touch, two to new scan. That was quick. Three to jump to this screen. Four to click on share, god awful share sheet, why apps do this is beyond me. Five to click on open in in the middle there, and there we have the native share sheet. Thank you, so Scanner Pro actually wins that and it even gives the scan a decent name, which um, unless you make two scans in the same second, you're not going to have a conflict. Alright, so we are back at the Mac and I've got the three scans. I've renamed them now so it's more obvious what they are. Dropbox scan, note scan and scanner pro scan. And let's have a quick look at them. They all look a little different from each other. Mostly in just the way that that background greyish colour has appeared. And the Dropbox scan doesn't seem to be great on solid blacks, it's losing a lot of black towards the center. All right, let's just have a zoom in to approximately the same place on each PDF and see if I can get them all side by side. Oops. Should have used do not disturb. Almost there. So we've got Dropbox on the left, Scanner Pro in the middle, and then the built-in Notes Scanner on the right. Detail-wise, they're all pretty similar. If you're looking around the character name lettering, I'd say probably the Dropbox Scanner has got better contrast, and the Notes Scanner is probably the blurriest, but it's much of a muchness. And you can see Dropbox isn't great at picking up those blacks. 
Uh, and Scanner Pro is really good at picking up that, that light, um, light greyish sort of colour. I'd probably have to give Scanner Pro the win when comparing them all side by side. Uh, let's just have a quick look at this one annoyance that we've still got in the uh, iOS built-in scanner. See the Dropbox file is, is 21 by 29, which is approximately A4. And the note scanner is 21 by 27.9, which I think is actually closer to A4 size. But the graphics are actually a lot smaller on the page. Just a bit weird. In summary, I'm going to say that Scanner Pro wins this little contest. It takes the least taps to save and export a scan, and it probably has marginally the best quality scan.